Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about common table expressions. So a couple of months ago when I did my video on SQL left joins, a few of you asked me to do a video on CTEs. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So to begin, what is a CTE? CTE is short for common table expressions. Simply put, a CTE is a temporary named result. It's a mix of like a temporary table and a subquery is pretty much naming your SQL result set that you can reference later in your query. So if you're somewhat familiar with SQL, then you know the basics of using a select statement. So we're going to start with that. Okay, so before we begin to write our SQL statements, I want to just share with you guys, I'm going to be using BigQuery by Google for this um, example or tutorial, if you want to call it that. Um, I am going to be working with the Austin Bike Share data sets. These are public data sets available in BigQuery. So if you want to use it to practice, you can definitely do so. It's available and you can sign up for a free account as well. I've already um, loaded both of the data sets here. And let me just show you a preview. So they have different information, like the schema is pretty much the layout of like the table or data set in this case. Details, that has the actual table name here that I'm gonna be using. Um, preview, which I really like that they offer a preview where you can kind of see what the table will look like. I know that when I use like um, tier data, I have to select like the top 100 or top 10, whatever you want to choose in order to get a preview of the data that's in the table. I like that they already load that for you here. And so you can see that in both of them. You can see the field names in the schema and then the details, which includes the table name when the table was created, and then you can preview the data set. So that's what we're gonna be working with to begin with. Okay, so with the bike share data, let's say that we have been asked to, let me go to the bike share trips data. So let's say that we've been asked to find out how much time bikes are being rented out based on subscriber type. So in this column subscriber type, we can see the different types of subscribers that we have, the bike, the types of bikes that are being rented out, the stations that they're taking them out from, where they're bringing them back to. And we also have a duration of how long they have the bike rented out. So let's say that we've been asked, okay, we want to know based on subscriber types how long are they are the bikes being rented out for so the duration of time and then i'm going to add in by station as well so we want to know based on the starting station how long are the bikes being taken out for so i'm going to add that into the query as well so what i'm going to do first is come actually to the details and copy the table name and we'll start with our select statement and just a couple of comments about BigQuery. Just note that the syntax may be a little bit different from what you use. So if you're using Teradata or SQL Server or Oracle, the syntax may be a little different, but the overall gist of the CTE should be the same. So before we write the CTE, I'm going to start with the query portion, okay? So I'm gonna come down a couple of rows and then I'm going to write select. And then I'm going to, let me see what, I wanted to get the, nope, from the trips. I wanted to get my, my subscriber type column, the start station ID, and my duration minutes. Now, I will say this, if I wanted to get more columns than that, you can export this data into Google Sheets. And this is what I would normally do if there's a lot of different field names and a lot of different fields that I want to use. I will come in and I will export it or copy the data and put it in Excel when I'm working. But for this example, let's say I would paste it into Sheets. I'm going to copy my field names and I'm going to transpose it.
And then for the purposes of SQL, you have to separate each field name using a comma. So I'm going to do that here. You can use the concatenate function to do that. So it adds the comma separator that you need in front of each of the field names. And you can just pretty much select what you're going to need. So I said I would use subscriber type, start station ID, and then the duration minutes. So take those, go back to my query that I began to write and put it there. You don't need a comma separator in front of your first field name, but here you go. And then we'll do where we're selecting this from. Let me go back and get my table name oh, from the details. Okay, so there we go. And actually what I'm going to do, because I want to summarize this by the subscriber type and the station ID, I'm going to sum this in my query. And I created an alias, which is just naming the field name. Okay. And then because I aggregated the duration minutes, I do need to add in a group by, which is what that error message was telling me. And, oh, and that's my basic query. And I do like this about BigQuery is that it will tell you, it will give you an error message. It right, like you don't have to run the query and then get an error. It will tell you upfront what's wrong with your query before you even run it. So let's go ahead and you know, I'm so used to highlighting and running my queries, you guys, but you don't have to do that here. And let me pull this up. So this is what we have for our query. So this, we can see based on subscriber type and station ID, how many minutes are being spent with the bike rentals. So that way you can tell which one, like what type of subscribers are not renting out bikes that long. You can do with you, you know, if we had like other information, like the cost and that type of thing, we could do more with it, but this is just for informational purposes. Okay. So now that we know that our query will run, let's go ahead and do the CTE. And again, this is our query. The CTE is just giving this query a name that we can reference later. So let's go ahead and begin with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our CTE. So it's very simple. So we're going to start with the with keyword with. Oh, hold on, let me do this. I like it in caps. So with, and then we're going to name our CTE. So I'm just going to name this my CTE example as, and then we're, as, and then we're going to do an open parentheses here, and then we're going to close it at the end. And that is our CTE. Now with a CTE, you will select from the CTE to join, and you can also join it to other data, but just to show it, for example, I'm going to select all from my CTE example. Okay, and for CTEs, your select statement, if you're selecting from that CTE, it needs to be at the bottom in comparison to like a subquery where your subquery select from would be at the top of your query. So just a little difference and also showing you how they're kind of similar. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, it's brought back everything that was in my kind of temporary table. Now with the CTE, the results are temporary. Like you can, you have to run the entire query in order to get the results. You cannot just run this select portion here at the bottom because this table that you're creating, or this 
CTE that you're creating, it's temporary. It's not even like a temp table where you can reference and only select from the temp table like later on in the query. You have to run the entire query anytime that you wanna get the results. So that's kind of like a downside of it, but if you run everything, you'll get it. Now you can join this to other data. So I can select from this and I can join it to something else. So remember I pulled up the bike share, um, the, was it? No, I'm sorry, not the, the station data. So let's say I want to join it and find out the property types because um, it has a station ID in there. So if I, well, let me get the table name. And I'm gonna alias this out since they have similar field names. So I'm gonna do as a, no, left join. Select. And what do I want from here again? Let's say I want, was it the property type? So this tells us the different type of parking. So property type, power type, let's add that in. And then with a left join, you have to show what you're joining on. So I'm gonna join on the station ID. No, it was called start station ID, start. Equaling the station ID from our other table. All right, so we have our CTE here, and then we are selecting everything from our CTE, and we're joining it to this bike share station data on the station IDs, matching in both. So let's go ahead and run this. And there is our result. We have the amount of the station ID, the type of subscriber, the type of property, and the bike power type. So yeah, that is it for the CTEs. I hope this was very simple, easy to follow, easy to understand. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.